What up, people? All right, so in today's little how to episode, um, I'm going to show you how to wash a bike, Jamaican later. So basically, we're going to wash this bike here, which is my friend's 300 Yamaha R3. Very powerful bike. And I'll be showing you guys basically how to wash and, you know, get it all looking brand new and clean again. So first, what are the things that um, we'll be using? Um, I personally like this. It's a, it's a, it's a um, car wash, but it works wonders for bike as well. It, it actually, it also waxes the plastic or whatever material. It's very good. You pay like what? Six dollar something on Amazon. That's like what? Thousand dollar? Jamaican? Thousand Jamaican dollar? Yeah, it's nice. And Smaddy bring it down and barrel to me. So. Yeah. If you don't have this, you can try this. This is your good old dishwashing liquid. <laughs> you can try that. Um, a regular, what is microfiber cloth or chamois, whatever you want to call it. Um, a bucket as well, you know, or a basin or any little thingy that you can use to, to um, catch the water in. Uh, some people also want to use one of them catchment something here, you know, like an empty ice cream thingy. I just use it to dip in the, the bucket and you take the water and throw it back. Oh, and for those who have a hose, you can use a hose. Um, I have a regular hose here with a, a garden, you call this a garden hose nozzle. So it, it basically you can select whether you want it full, soaker, mist, different um, options and things. This is really nice. This is really nice, I can tell you. So you can get one regular hose like this and buy one of them garden hose thing here at the, the, the hardware store or places like that. Okay, so this is the reason why I'm washing this bike. If you, if you look at it, it is filthy. We had some rain today and I, I rode where I live. There's a lot of sand and I was trying a little thing right there trying to burn out <laughs> burn out on the sand all right so yes the bike is really dirty look at that we're gonna bring this beast back to life by giving it a good look of wash down so stay tuned okay so for my people who don't have a hose you're gonna use a regular you know tank you just turn on your nozzle and you will fill up your bucket you know just like that for those who have your garden hose or you have a hose, you know, you attach your hose and you turn on your pipe. Alright, so basically we are going to start by hosing down the bike. Wipe on that out there. We are going to wet up the bike. <laughs> we are going to start by wetting up the bike. And as I mentioned, the garden hose nozzle, it, it yo, the thing bad. Like legit, you can like press this thing right here, just press this in. And the water come out. So you know if you have your water, run, 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 run. You know them where they? Yeah. Alright. So basically I turn the nozzle to full because that's the best way that for me right now. And I just press my thing and I just get the bike a good liquor. Soak down, you know. So basically you want to soak it so that the, the dirt that's already on it so that the dirt lifts easy 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 Yamaha try your best not to directly um, spray water into the electrical areas like there and down there if you're gonna spray water set your nozzle to something more calmer maybe like the soaker and then you just spray it over like this basically after you're done um, soaking the bike in some water or spraying some water over the bike mm. you kinda done you kinda done wash your bike <laughs> I'm joking <laughs> so we're gonna fill up this bucket now all the way to the top and we're gonna put our nice 
car wash soap in it, you know? Or you can use your, you know, your good old liquid soap. Some people say them use um, washing soap. I will not, I would not advise you to use washing soap, the soap that you use to wash your clothes, whether it's powder or liquid. Hey, I'm telling you, this thing works magic. I use like maybe a car full, like me use like legit one car full and look on the tinta. So, you see me? You don't have to use much, and it's so it's so it's so affordable, and it works wonders. All right, so now we're basically going to get our little chamois or microfiber cloth thingy, and we're just gonna soak down this back, you know. <laughs> Apparently my neighbor goat come to see the action. Oh the backside this man. Show! Move! Move yep. Always remember to wash from the top down. <laughs> Never bottom up, you know? Always top down. Spokes are the, the rims are the hardest here to wash because of the spokes, which are these little things here between. It, I have big hands, so it's hard to push my hand between and wash, but I'm gonna do my best here. Remember, don't spray water, don't spray heavy water into your electronic parts, you see me? Like them part here. Cause enough of them Chinese bikes they wouldn't make a Jamaica. Once you go water touch in your so, uh, in your so, everything start going on. Everything start malfunction basically. Alright, so we're basically done washing off the bike. The next thing to do is to dry your rag. Or should I say, wash out the rag that you use to wash the bike and dry. Look at this rag. The rag clean. Clean. So now we're basically going to dry the bike with our cloth here. Remember, always start from the top down. remember these parts need drying too shark edition boy yeah hmm. give it a thumbs up if you like this bike you know it deserves the thumbs up at least that So as I mentioned, the hardest place to wash was the, 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 um, the rims. Why? Because of those spokes, those things right there. It's also the hardest place to clean, to, to dry. And we are 
basically finished.